Back to you. Well, I, I got started basically um, becoming the one to be a mortician is that my dad, when my dad was murdered, you know, I was 12 years old and I found out my dad was murdered and I, I was, I was kind of angry that whoever did that to my father, um, that I, 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 I couldn't get to him. So I, I, I wanted to send a message out to the people in Jersey City. So my mother brought me a speaker with a microphone. But I think I was about 13, and I started hitting the streets of Jersey City. Um, you know, wanted to be a part of the Stop the Violence. Even at 13, I really didn't even know it at that time. You know, so that was like erotic. So when I was out there on the street corners, I didn't know what I was saying. But I knew that I was speaking some good stuff, because a lot of people used to encourage me. So I've been doing this, man, for like 40-something years. You know, like 30-something years. So um, because my father was murdered. And when, when my mom passed away, is that is when I really wanted to be a mortician. Because my father, um, my, I was a high school dropout at the time when my, my mom passed away. So, and I, when I saw my mother laying there in the casket looking the way she was looking, I realized I had to get back in my go get it mode. You know what I mean? I had to go, like, I, I knew I was born for greatness. And, but I wasn't living up to my full potential. You know, I was trying to run the streets, talk to girls, you know, trying to be a playboy, talk to different girls and things like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Talk to different girls. But I, I remember, man, one day mom just told me in the spirit, man, go get it. So I, 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 I heard mom's voice very clear. She said, go get it. And so when mom said, go get it, you know, I, I, I went and got to go get it. So I went back to school, got my high school diploma, first male in my family to go to college. You know, then I went to mortuary school, man, and it has been nothing but an amazing ride. I have touched so many people's lives, man, for what I do. And not just inside of the funeral home, but on the outside as well, you know. Um, so it has been truly remarkable. Uh, well, I'm, I'm not, you know, I'm not so hard on the on, on the on, on the rappers, you know. I know a lot of people always say, you know, Muhammad, you you know, you hard on the rappers, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not hard on the rappers, you know. I, I think that the, I think that the rappers have a have a big part to play in the demise of our people, and also they have the ability to lift them up because if you look at the fact of the matter, when we was growing up, we had great groups. We had Public Enemy, we had KRS One, we had De La Soul, we had Poor Righteous Teachers. I mean, we had we had a little bit of you know the negative rap NWA, but we had balance. And also, but, but but when we was hearing the messages, when you had when when the X Clan had the X on their hat, yo, we 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 wanted to know what that X stood for. And then we come to find out Malcolm X when Chuck D said Farrakhan's a prophet, and I think he ought to listen to. I'm like, man, who is this guy named Farrakhan? I never heard of him. So you gotta understand something. In the hood, man, we emulate the music that we hear today. These young brothers, man, have not a clue because. If it's about a hip hop, let's get to the real. Let's let's get back to the to the to the lyrics. They all flashing guns. They naked women, disrespectful of women, drugs. That's not what it's a beat. And if you're saying that this is what you see every day in your community, well, you don't live that man because you're too busy doing this, <laughs> right? You see what I'm saying? So you're too busy doing that. So I be, I believe most of the rappers are a bunch of hypocrites. You know, there are some good, great, positive rappers out there, man, but. But the, but the market right now is being flooded by dead dummy rappers. And you can see them every day. Nothing that they're doing reflects the true hip hop culture. Nothing what you and I, you know what I mean? What you and I grew up on. Um, they're producing nothing but dead dummies. So all the parents that allow them children to listen to 6ix9ine, um, um, the, the, the rainbow head guy with the rainbow teeth, uh, when they listen to all these. Um, mumble rappers that makes no sense at all only thing their videos want to project the image of naked women guns and drugs when you sound when you allow your children continually continuously look at that why are you sounding your child enough to come into my funeral parlor you know I mean you 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 you, you, you sound you sounding your children enough to come to be a part of the funeral put them on that embalming table for me to put a a, 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 a three inch um, incision in their in they, in they neck to get that carotid artery to get that jugular vein and then drain that blood down the drain. So what we got to see is that we got to do a lot, it's a lot of stuff that we got to do. Everything ain't about Donald Trump. Donald Trump is not the source 
um, other ethnicities are not the source of our own problem. We are our own worst enemy. Black people are our own worst enemy. I mean, we are killing each other like crazy. Look at Chicago. Last week, Chicago, 56, 56 what, what was it, 50, 57? 57 people shot, 11 murdered. 11 year old riding their bike, can't even go outside. Grandmothers can't go and get their prescriptions filled. Can't go out to get their daily milk, bread, things that they need to run their errands. Why? Because their dummies are running the street and killing our people. It is black people that's killing black people and we know it as a fact. Black people don't want to talk about it. Black people don't want to address it. Black people don't want to admit that we are the, sat the satanic cult that is killing our own people, man. On a daily basis, yes, I know there are other groups, I know there are ethnicity, ethnicities, cultures, nationalities that's killing them, but that's not my concern. My issue is dealing strictly um, um, with, 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 with our people. So my platform is very simple, man, is that we want to let them know, make time matter, don't become a dead dummy. Is these rappers trying to lead you and tell you, make you believe that they flossing like that? Man, they ain't flossing like that because half of them can't read, half of them can't spell. Half of them not living in the communities that they reflect in their videos, flossing money, man. This is all about image and branding. So they're not really, a, that's not their money, man. That's not for image. And the f sad thing about it, most of our young people think that this is real life. They don't know that there's nothing but actors. That's what they are, actors. And you never seen no, in hip hop, you never seen Eric B and Rakim wanting to shoot. Slick Rick, you, you know, coming with guns all the time, right? Like, you never seen Nas wanting to shoot Jay-Z, man, it was all about the lyrics. When they battled, when them two brothers won it, they didn't go with it with guns, man, no weapons. They went with it with lyrics, and that's what it's about. So my message today, man, is that we trying to keep your child from becoming a dead dummy. As long as you're allowing your child to go out there and listen to this damnable music, listen to these rappers that don't care nothing about your child, and fall in love with them as such, is that drinking lean, that's not hip hop. Smoking weed all day on the videos, that's not hip hop. Having cocaine and crack around your videos, that's not hip hop. Having naked women with thongs with strings up their backside, that's not hip hop. Talking about killing this one and killing that one, how many black people you killing, that's not hip hop. That's pure satanic cult music, trap music, deaf music, it's all the same. So dear parents, I'm stressing to you, if you don't want to keep your child out of our funeral, if you want to keep your child out of our funeral home, I'm telling you, keep your children away from that music because as long as they listen to that music, I'm going to be dressing your child later. I'm out. Peace. Yeah, that's what it's about.